boys and girls welcome back to the channel so today i'm back at my favorite bike shop which is into moto in warrington they've got quite a few used bikes in there that i'm lucky enough that they're letting me try some so join me i'll show you what i'm on today I've only gone and pulled a scooter out the bag, but do you know what? This is no ordinary scooter. It's a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing job. So whilst a lot of the Vespers, they look exactly the same, whether it be a 50cc, a 125, a 300, they look very similar. This is the 300, so it's quick. Let's have a look round it the usual way. Yeah, let's go. So there we have it. This is the GTS 300 or the Vespa 300. It is an absolute blast to ride and you've got to stay with me for the test ride just to see because I'm having an absolute whale of a time on this thing. So as far as the brakes go, we've got a single disc at the front. We've got a single disc at the back as well. And the brakes are exceptional. Again, you've got to watch the test ride just to see how good they are. We've got side stand for a quick and easy stop. We've also got your centre stand, which, again, brilliant as far as storing the bike goes. Nice and easy. The seat is quite a nice bench seat. It is very very plush there is loads and loads of foam there but it's a really comfortable place to sit and as far as your passenger goes you've got the comfortable seat as a passenger you've also got a nice little backrest and some decent grab handles as well so it'd be decent for someone to go on the back certainly powerful enough buttons wise as you get with scooters really you don't get a lot we've just got horn indicator high low beam and that is it. On the right hand side, we've just got your engine start and your engine cut off switch. Standard scooter really, as far as the dials go. On the outside of this, we've got kilometers, miles per hour on the inside. It seems to be a bit backward that as far as a, a UK spec bike goes, it tends to be the other way around. But once you get your head round, you're looking at this speed in the middle and not the outside. It's okay. We've got a fuel gauge, we've got a um, temperature gauge as well, and then you've got your usual lights at the top, your indicators, etc. Nice bit of wind protection as well. That's decent, because you can get some serious speed on this little beastly thing. I absolutely love it, love the look of it. Right, that's our walk round done. Thing is with scooters, they are what they are. They don't have loads of buttons and stuff to play with. They are quite basic, but that's the whole point of them. You jump on, you ride. Easy as anything to ride. You're just twisting and going. Honestly, I can't believe there's not more of them on the road because they are a dream to ride, and especially these big engine ones. The 300cc doesn't sound like a big engine. If you're a, a biker, However, in one of these things that's quite light, rapid. Stay for the test ride and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Come, let's go riding. I'm a Vespa fan. I love the retro looking scooters. Love how they look. I like the ease of use. I love the practicality. Now, unfortunately, that for some reason has got loose on me. That's a pain. But excluding that, What do we think of a scoot? Now, what I like about this one in particular is this is a 300. Now 300, ordinarily, if it's on a bike, 300 doesn't mean anything special. But if you're on a little light scooter, a 300 means nippy. <laughs> it means fun. It means rapid. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's a quick scooter. <laughs> now it's 
it's not often. In fact, I don't even think ever really I've been on a scooter where I've gone, oh Jesus, that's fast. But that's how this makes you feel. It is a 300cc, so a 300cc on a bike that is so light that when you give it some, it just seems to take off. And I've been on loads of scooters and I really do like anything 125 and above for me, I just am a massive fan of. The 125s can be quite nippy. Some of those will do over 60 mile an hour quite comfortably. I think even like the the cheaper ones will push to get to 60 mile an hour but they'll get there eventually this however feels like it will get there in a heartbeat there is so much usable power and it's so easy to use because it's just a rev and go as soon as you twist on this we are going places and because it's a scooter, it's comfortable. These things are made, aren't they, for town use. The bigger engine ones like this, they're made to go that bit further afield. And I think I would be perfectly happy going on a little tour on this thing. I'd be more than happy, in fact, because the comfort is out of this world. The performance is, well, it's surprising. It is genuinely surprising just how good it is and what I like about here is because there's so much room down there by your legs you can move your legs about just don't get the same aches because you've got so much range of movement where you can move your legs in different positions so you don't get stuck in the same place which I think is really really good like most people will have done in their time where you get a group of scooters on the motorway and they're ploughing down the motorway and you're thinking, oh, oh, those, that looks a bit bloody iffy with those little wheels. But do you know what? No, not an issue at all. These bikes are unbelievably comfortable. So when you do get some decent speed, you just, you feel really secure. It's, it's surprising really, it surprised me. You seasoned scooter riders, I'm sure, will be going, what are you talking about? Of course you can do that. And I know that is because you guys have been on scooters for a long time. But people like myself that have only just recently got a newfound appreciation for them, I just get blown away me when it's something like this that is so quick. Ducks. Okay. Rapid. You go and ride a 50cc, which a lot of people do, especially on the holidays, because they're nice and cheap to rent, aren't they? 125 is exactly the same. Now, you can go on a 125 and appreciate how nippy they are, certainly in comparison to a 50, but you get onto a 300cc like this and they are a whole new level. I mean, they are just, you get all of the same benefits as the small scooters. They're still quite fuel efficient. They are still very easy to ride. They are very comfortable. I mean, you'd have to change your wardrobe a little bit. You'd have to get a parka jacket and stuff instead of your full leathers. But that's, I think that's the beauty with this type of bike, isn't it? They do have such a big following and it is a bit of a lifestyle choice. If you're just doing town riding, I don't think there's anything better because they're brilliant for filtering because they're only little things. You add a bigger engine into that scenario, you've then got a bike that's awesome for going around town, brilliant for going a little bit further afield as well, because not only have you got the ease of riding, the comfort of riding, you've also got something that is capable of motorway speeds and comfortably 
do in motorway speeds not something that you're thrashing the absolute nuts out of it which is what happens with a 125 you're pretty much taking them to the max to get them anywhere near what you would class as a motorway speed whereas this is just not the case these can do motorway speeds but you're doing motorway speeds comfortably without really pushing the engine too much these bikes brand new are quite expensive certainly as far as scooters go but you do get what you pay for you you're basically buying a scooter with motorbike performance so i can see why they are so expensive something like this on the used market you can pick up yourself a nice little bargain <laughs> a nice little bargain that goes like stink i know like there's more to life than just speed and performance and stuff well actually is the <laughs> when it comes to motorcycles it's all about the speed and performance isn't it and it's a bonus if they're comfortable <laughs> But this has got your speed, it's got the performance, it's really comfortable. It just boils down to, do you want a scooter? And some people love the looks, some people don't love the looks, some people like, I suppose I was only a year or so ago, I just never fancied a scooter, never fancied the looks of them, but my God, have I changed my mind now because these are exceptional. Okay, so I'm back at the dealers. I've dropped that bike off. I'm quite impressed with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're interested in the bike that I've been on today, then don't forget it's available here, but I don't know how long it's gonna be available for. This place seems to have got really busy and bikes are coming in and they're going out quickly. So if you're interested in this bike, then get onto them quickly. You can see there, we've got the website, the phone number, get onto them.